Hey guys, what's up? It's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. We're across the street in the field and I got my helmet on today. And when Kaplan America puts his helmet on, it's about to get serious. Why do I have a helmet on? Well, this is a race ready Hodaka 1974 Super Combat 125 and this thing rips. It's the fastest Hodaka 125 I've ever ridden. And uh, it is in pristine museum quality condition, just fully restored by Jay Wilson. You might've seen the collection of Makos and uh, Carabellas and uh, CZs that we picked, picked up from him. This was his pride and joy, Super Combat 125. Full frame off restoration on this bike. And uh, look closely at the photos, look closely at the bike, listen to the way it runs. It's the best running Hodaka, cleanest Super Combat I've ever seen. This was the pinnacle of Hodaka's design development on the 125. Hey, not every day you see a Carabella 125 come down the road, look at this. Carabella. Only at the New England Motorcycle Museum. That's a Carabella Caliente 125 and a uh, 73 Kawasaki. 75. 75 KX 125. But back to this bike here. Take a close look at this bike. The paint job is beautiful. The upholstery on the seat is beautiful. The engine is impeccable. The Kiyaba fin shocks are brand new condition, as are the tires, the exhaust expansion chamber. Everything on the bike is in brand new condition and it runs perfectly. So take a close look at the pictures, and uh, hey, check this out. Look at this coming up the road here. Come here, come here. Hey. Look at this, dude. That's a 1973 CZ250, brand new motor in it. Listen how crisp it sounds. That thing's nice too. Just another day at the New England Motorcycle Museum. It's Monday and uh, it's not every day a Carabella 125, a CZ250, a KX125 and a Hodaka Super Combat are battling for supremacy on the streets here. But it's just another day at the museum. This baby's going up for sale. I hope it stays here at the museum. If you buy it, you're welcome to leave it here as long as you like, or you can come pick it up. Check out the levers. It, the, all, the, all, the, all the hardware on it's brand new. The bars are in brand new condition. It's got the, the Whirlpool throttle on it. It has an original Hodaka front fender. You can see it's embossed with the Hodaka logo, and it has the part number on the back here. Um, just beautiful, just beautiful piece. Anyways, the pictures speak for themselves. Even the Kickstarter is brand new on it. I think it's an NOS Kickstarter. It's perfect. Usually they're all clapped out. So let me fire this baby up and I'll do a demo for you. It's it's awesome. It's a fun, fun bike to ride. First kick every time. Let's go this thing. Walk around over there. As good as it gets, folks, you're not gonna find a better one anywhere. with his motors, he didn't mess around. Everything's brand new on the top end's fresh, bottom end's fresh, clutch is fresh, and he pulls the mail. And it's beautiful. What else can you ask for? And it's a lot of fun to ride, and that's what it's all about. So the two strokes are a blast.
fantastic bike. All the cables are brand new on it. Brand new throttle cable, brake cable, clutch cable, all new um, electronic uh, uh, switches like the, uh, excuse me, the um, kill switch is brand new. The grips are brand new. The bars are new. It's just a fantastic piece. Completely restored nut and bolt restoration. Now, you gotta ask yourself, if you're gonna buy one of these for 1500 or 2500, a decent runner and do a restoration, you're planning on spending, if you're really good, about 50 hours labor on it. And if you're a, a novice beginner, more. Most shops are gonna charge you between 40 and 50 hours labor to do a frame up restoration. And by the time you're done doing the tires, the plastics, the paint job, the paint job's gonna cost you four to $500, reupholstering the seat. This is a $6,000 restoration, frame up restoration, nut and bolt restoration, rebuild the motor, paint the frame, paint the plastics, everything's brand new on it. So, you know, based on the time and material uh, analysis to, to, to spend six grand on a restoration, this bike is gonna be an extreme value at anything less than 6,000. So, um, and the reserve, reserve's gonna be set substantially below that. So, Kenny, is there anything you'd like to add about the bike? I mean, well, um, look at the photos closely. I think they speak for themselves. Uh, this is the first from the Jay Wilson collection. Stay tuned, because we got some crazy bikes coming out, and some I don't even think have been featured on the camera yet. So, but, but other than that, in 1974, Hodaka was facing some uh, extreme competition from the Jap manufacturers, so these weren't produced in, in large numbers. So although it's a more than capable machine, it's got the KYB shocks, and, and uh, you know, it's, it, classic Kodaka, but they didn't make very many of these, and that makes this bike rare and highly collectible. You know, uh, I, I'm not sure if these are new fork tubes, but they look brand new, and so don't the fork lowers. The chrome on them looks brand new, and most 50-year-old bikes, you can have a lot of patina on it, so I'm not sure if Jay re these or bought NOS parts. I know when he did these, there were no expense frame-off restorations that took him up to a year, because he did them nights and weekends, so... Um, I know Jay put a ridiculous amount of time and money into it, and it's been ridden less than a half an hour on the total rebuild, including the time we've ridden it. So it's basically a brand new engine, and uh, all the running gear is new. So that's about it. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Kenny can ship this anywhere in the country uh, for you. Him or Cody would be glad to help you. Send we've us a message with your zip code for a shipping quote. We've been offering financing now on bikes too. Have you mentioned that? Right, so call us if you're interested in the bike and would like to get some information on financing we, we can, can help you out with that shipping financing storage whatever you want to do um all proceeds are going to fund the new england motorcycle museum a 7.5 million dollar project not including the millions of dollars of motorcycles in it so uh the um if we make any money off the sale of the bike the proceeds all go are all used by the museum so it's going to a great cause good luck finding a nicer original uh, original style restoration um to like new conditions i haven't seen one a nicer one out there anytime recently that's for sure good luck getting on this beauty and as always god bless america Bitter gets, of course, museum tickets. Fly out to Bradley International. Have one of our staff guys pick you up. Come ride the bike. Get on camera here. Call us with any questions, guys. Ken Jr. signing off. Thanks for watching this far. Good luck bidding and God bless America.